Onions are a versatile and essential ingredient in many dishes and growing your own onions can be a fun and rewarding experience. Growing onions from bulbs is a simple process but there are some important tips that can help you grow healthier onions and get a bountiful harvest. In this video, we will go over 6 key tips to grow healthy and productive onions from bulbs or onion bottoms. Tip numbers 1, 5 and 6 are essential to grow big bulbs. I'll throw in 2 bonus points to guarantee a good harvest, so stick around as I break things down. Welcome to Dr. Obi's garden. 1. Choose the right onion bulbs. The first step in growing onions from bulbs is to choose the right type of onion bulb. Select the variety of onion that is well suited to your region and climate. This is very important since formation of bulbs in onions is highly dependent on day length, also known as photo period. If you grow a non suitable variety, it may never produce bulbs. You will only get green onions or smaller bulbs. Buying onion bulbs from this farmer's market will ensure that you get a variety that is suitable to your climate. Additionally, make sure that the bulbs are firm and healthy. If you use bulbs with disease symptoms, they will rot sooner than later. Also, note that some varieties produce more onion seedlings than others. If you want to get bigger bulbs or many bulbs, selecting the right variety and bulb size is key. Two, prepare a good soil. Onions prefer well-drained soil that is rich in organic matter. You can add compost or well-rotted manure to the soil before planting to improve its texture and nutrient content. If the soil is too compact, it slows down growth and results in smaller bulbs. 3. Plant at the right time and right depth. Plant onion bulbs in early spring or fall. Most onion varieties require cool weather to grow, so avoid planting them during hot summer months. If you are planting with a full bulb, Plant the bulbs with a pointed end facing up and bury just beneath the soil surface. Plant them about 4 to 6 inches apart. To make it sprout faster, you can cut off the top one third of the bulb before planting it in soil or water. I usually sprout and root my onions in water before transferring into the soil, as you can see in your shot, and I get excellent results. If you are growing from onion bottoms, rooting and sprouting it in water before transplanting helps to avoid future disappointment and gives great results. You can check out our video on how to get many onions from an onion bottom using the link in the description. 4. Pay attention to watering. Onions require regular watering, especially during dry periods. Watering should be done only when the top one inch of soil is dry. You can check this by sticking your finger into the soil up to your first knuckle. Water deeply, but avoid overwatering as it leads to fungal diseases. It's better to water the onions in the morning, especially when they start bobbing, so that the water does not stay around the bulb for too long. Watering should be stopped once the onion tops fall over as they mature to prevent rot. 5. Separate the onion seedlings This is a critical step that ensures that the onion seedlings have room to grow to bigger bulbs. Once you grow onions from the bulb or bulb bottom, you most likely will end up with a cluster of onion seedlings. The number of seedlings per cluster depends on the variety and size of the bulb used. If there are more than 2 seedlings per cluster, you have to separate them once they grow a distinct stem. To do this, gently dig up the whole cluster, ensuring that the roots are intact.
carefully separate them with the help of a knife. Make sure that each seedling has root attached before transplanting. Allowing the onion bulb to decompose before pulling up the seedlings makes it easier to separate them. Space the seedlings about 2 to 4 inches apart depending on variety. If you don't separate the seedlings, they will grow into smaller bulbs and look like shallots as can be seen in your shots. This will be a good time to smash the like button to register your approval if you are finding this video useful. If you've not already done so, kindly subscribe and hit the notification icon so you get notified of our next video. The support is greatly appreciated. 6. Apply the right fertilizer. Onions require lots of nitrogen at the beginning for vigorous growth. You can therefore apply a fertilizer that is high in nitrogen early on, especially within 2 weeks after transplanting seedlings. You can then apply a balanced fertilizer or compost once every month during the growing season to promote healthy growth and guarantee higher yields. Here are two bonus points to help you grow onions successfully from bulbs. 1. Weed Control Keep the onion bed weed free to reduce competition for nutrients and water. Mulching can help with weed control and moisture retention. Two, harvesting. When the tops of the onion begin to yellow and fall over, you know it's time to harvest them. Gently pull the onions out of the soil and dry them in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight for about a week before storing. If you allow the bulb to dry down completely on the floor, it may be prone to rot if it rains during that period. By following these tips, you can grow more onions from bulbs and enjoy a bountiful harvest. Growing your own onion is not only rewarding, but it's a great way to have a fresh supply of this essential ingredient in your kitchen. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful. You can share it so that more people will benefit from it. Check out our other videos or see you in our next. Until then, it's adios.